Hey, it's Jenna. Let's talk about the LCLE method, the learn, control, load, explode method. This is a strategy that I use with my clients and encourage my clients use in their postpartum fitness life to help them return to the exercises that they love that are more high intensity, more high impact, more challenging. Because the truth is we don't want to just go from being pregnant to doing a 5k run at six weeks postpartum. We need to move in a gradual progression to get back to the point where we feel comfortable and our bodies are ready for that higher intensity. So I'm going to give you a quick example of what this might look like using the squat. Super simple exercise that can be a little bit challenging postpartum because we're so used to having that beach ball out front of us that learning how to use our body again can be a little bit challenging. So let's jump into it. So we start with step number one, learn. We're going to learn how to do the squat efficiently, effectively, and with great technique. So what I want you to do is I want you to have your feet wider than hip width apart. Your toes are pointed out slightly. I like this feet wider than hip width apart, toes pointed out slightly because it's just a more natural way for the body to move. If we have our feet closer together and toes pointed forward, it feels a little bit more awkward. Wider apart, toes pointed apart, feels a bit more natural there. One of the key things that I want to really encourage you to focus on in the squat, especially postpartum, is watching what that booty is doing. We have a tendency to tuck under, especially as we go down into that squat, we tend to tuck as we're going down and then as we're coming back up. So instead of tucking, I want you to act like you have a string lifting that booty up slightly. So as you go down, that weight is going back. You're not going so far back that your feet are like, you're like, whoa, I'm falling or anything like that. But your, your weight is going back. That booty is untucked. You're acting like, say there's a chair that's a little bit further away and you're trying to sit down in that chair, get your booty into that chair. So you come down and then you push to come back up, coming all the way up without tucking at the top there. Okay, so that's step number one, learning. Learning how to go through that movement again. Even if it's something that you were super comfortable with when you, before you had a baby and even during pregnancy, we need to start from the beginning in that learn stage to make sure that we're remembering all those foundational strategies that will help keep us safe and ensure that we get stronger. So learning, step number one. Step number two, control. This is where you practice. You practice your squats. You do a few reps without any weight, just body weight squats to make sure that you're comfortable, you're capable, you're feeling like, yes, I'm getting all those foundational pieces. I know exactly what I need to do to get the most out of this exercise and stay safe the entire time. Things are feeling good. Things are feeling strong, you're feeling like you've got this, you've got great technique, great form. This is the place where it's a really great idea to videotape yourself. If you videotape yourself, it's, you can do that in front of the mirror, but I actually prefer videotaping exercises instead of doing it in front of the mirror because I don't want you constantly looking at the mirror and getting your neck all cranked up, especially depending on certain exercises, you're not going to be able to look in the mirror. So use your phone. Set up the camera, even if you're in a gym, don't worry. We're in the Instagram age. No one's gonna care if you're videotaping yourself. Set it up, videotape yourself, watch it back. See how you're doing with those squats or whatever exercise that you are practicing. So learn, we're learning those foundational techniques. Control, we're practicing, we're doing multiple reps to make sure that we've got that foundational strategy piece down pat before we move on to the load phase, where we're just going to load it up. We're going to use some weight. We're gonna make it a little bit more challenging. Load doesn't necessarily mean that you use weight, but it often means that you add weight to it because usually we start with the learn, we're learning how to do it. Then we move on to control, where we're just using our body weight. 
and then we load it up with some weight. So same strategies apply. We get into that great positioning there. Feet wider than hip width apart. Toes pointed out slightly. We come down into that squat. You can hold those weights there. 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 There's all kinds of different ways to hold weights when we're going into squats there. We want to start with simple, basic stuff right from the get-go. So I wouldn't recommend that you start with that overhead there. I'd recommend that you start with either the weights in front of you, the weights beside you, or in more of a front rack position there is what is going to be more optimal when we're just starting out. So just loading it up, coming down into that squat, making sure that you're feeling good in this movement. How are things feeling? Now that you've added load to the situation, are things still feeling good? Are you remembering your foundational strategies? Is your body feeling like it's capable of dealing with this load? Remembering that just because you could do it pre-baby, just because you could do it even during pregnancy, doesn't mean that your body is automatically ready for it right now. This is why we move through the LCLE method instead of just diving right into your pre-baby weight, your pre-baby strategy, everything like that. We need to build that strength back up. So keep that in mind. Don't be in a rush. Then we move on to the E. What is the E? E is explode. This is where you've built that foundational strategy. You've practiced with just your body weight or minimal resistance. You've added some load. You've challenged yourself. You've built up a lot of strength. Now we can move into that power mode where we're going to explode. What that might look like with squats is some jump squats, right? And you don't have to start with like a whoa, like a huge jump, even just coming down and just coming up a little bit instead of really giving her. You can start with just a little hop. How does that feel? Are you able to keep those foundational strategies in mind as you're jumping. How is that feeling on your pelvic floor? How is that feeling on your core? How is that feeling throughout your entire body? So that is the LCLE method. Learn, control, load, explode. We move in that stepwise fashion to make sure that your body is feeling strong, capable, and ready instead of just diving off the deep end and starting with those jump squats from the get-go. This is just an example. You can apply this to any exercise, any type of workout that you wanna do. You wanna run? We wouldn't just start with a 10K, right? We would learn proper strategies. We would control that movement, make sure that we're feeling confident and ready by going out for a 1K run. Then we would load it up. We'd add some more time. We would add some more hills. We would add faster tempo. Then we would explode. We'd give it our all. We'd sign up for that 10K. We would train properly and make it happen. So as you can see, the LCLE method, it works for anything. It's a strategy that you can adopt to get back into the things that you love postpartum. So enjoy getting back into things that you love postpartum, and I'll see you soon. For more, head to jennadalton.com. Bye.